Hello folks in Basic C, it's Beano Black and here we are at Nehemiah Station. Now we have <coughs> the star belt that is in front of the sun and you pretty much have known this for quite a while and you can see that it is in front of the sun. Uh, we have a star belt or an asteroid belt in front of the sun. It's been there for quite a while now. We may have had this for eternity, you know. Infinitely would be total for in, infinite, infinite means forever, okay? Well, forever as far as the sun and earth have been known, this has probably been there. Okay, now here is the actual factual, because basically everybody's always said with the idea that, well, there's so much light that it blacks out. Uh, and that's why you see, and it's just in the, in the deal. Well, you've got your sun, the brightest one of it, in front of our sun, and you have this asteroid belt here. Now the amazing thing about this asteroid belt is you can see the stars here, and we'll keep zooming in on this. Basically I'll go down here and I'll get the zoom. Now remember when I'm pointing, you're gonna know that I'm gonna be pointing at all this stuff here, and this cluster here below this, and so forth. Now this is not the sun right there, okay? This is a star that's in front of the sun, okay? Which is a sun, and we have more than one sun. Actually, there was a physicist that died, and he's very famous at NASA. They've named a lot of stuff after him. He knows that there was three in our, uh, that we are close to, that we rotate around, okay? So there's actually three suns, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll actually be able to prove that in the future. I've got some other NASA footage that will end up showing you three spotlights, basically, beaming at Earth. Okay, and it's no, there's tons of stars, there's billions and millions of stars in space, as you can see over here, you can actually see some around the clouds, up and through here you're seeing. So, at the North and South Pole you can see this stuff, and that's why they're building and uh, making telescopes and so forth and so on down there to be able to see this stuff. Uh, and as you see through here, we're going to zoom up, now like I said, when I'm pointing, you're not going to be able to uh, see my pointer right on it, because when we get to the, when I do the zoom up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep getting us zoomed in here. Now as you can see, the actual factual, that this is not the camera blacking this and making this spot. And you're going to see, we'll play the video in a little bit and it'll get darker. And you'll all see the, the light curvature of the sun around this, uh, basically, which is a dying star. Uh, now is it, what we're trying to find out, is it already completely dead and is there actually another planet between us and the sun all the time? And it always gets hidden in the sunlight of the sun. That's, that's basically still out there, but we figure that this is a hot star still, okay? Uh, but then the blackness of it, when we do see that, uh, that's when we start getting into, well, is it cool? And is it actually a planet that rotates fast around Earth every day, and it's in between us and the sun, okay, and here you have all these stars here in this year, now this is all out of the box thinking, but it's actual factual, because the, the, the pictures are shooting you right in the face, okay, so uh, when you get the truth slammed right in your eyeball sockets, then you kind of know, don't you, because it's basically you're looking at it right here, so we'll zoom this up to like 777 seven, seven on custom here, and then we'll see what we have to look at there. And then I should be able to point still pretty good. So as you see, we're going to be looking at there's these star clusters around this star here. Or is it a actual planet that rotates a lot faster than Earth and so forth and so such. And it's between us and the sun. Because you actually see it there. And it ends up being black. But you got to remember, we're dealing with the light curvature of the sun and so forth. So basically in eclipse all the time because the light of the sun is always cur in its with these other star clusters that are around this object there are always so we're always dealing with light curvature okay now as I get up here farther you should be able to see what we end up seeing that sometimes in my other videos where the idea you've seen that there was like a big star and that was kinda like either it's one of these here three or four that was end up shining bright in this star cluster now we it sure seems that we have way more than one star cluster because there's lots of stars that you're seeing here bleeding through at the North and South Pole, because the atmosphere is thinner because of our auroral. You basically can see our auroral hole. Uh, here you can't really see anything. And you can see stars up here. These are all stars. And uh, I'm at 700, and you can blow these shots up. 
and you can see that these are all stars up there. Okay, pretty much they get 23, 22 hours or whatever. They get a lot of daylight down there at this point in time. So let's go ahead and zoom in on, on this with the magnifier. And like I say, when I use my pointer on the magnifier, not really going to be able to see that much. Now, can we actually see a? Is this just an asteroid belt that we can see here? Or is it actually so clear that we can see a galaxy a long ways away down at this point in time down at uh, Nehemiah Station? So no matter what, we have this here object, because this is all in between us, which is close to one AU between us and the sun. Okay, This is all right out of that picture. I've zoomed in on this, Okay, Nehemiah Station. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom up with the magnifier and take a little bit better look at this stuff. And magnify to this. And there you go. So basically a star belt. And then you can see another, as you can see, the darkness, or either that or there's just a complete hole of hollowness right there in that star cluster. Now the crazy thing, we've seen this, or a star cluster like this, come down and not touch Earth, but basically illuminate uh, around the Nehemiah station, and we've seen it do that. Let's go over there, let's see what we got there a little bit. As you can see, the star or a cloud cluster there. So, this is not a cloud here, this is all a star cluster in space. Like I say, if I use my pointer when we have it zoomed, you're not going to be able to see it. So, that's basically a star cluster, an asteroid belt, whatever you want to call it. It's basically a galaxy, a star cluster there, way low. You can see through the atmosphere, and then we have what we have. And then we'll zoom in on this more. And uh, like I say, I can't point, but you can basically, you can see what you've got right in front of your eyeballs. So we know that it's not the camera doing it. Now, uh, those are, should be planets, the dark area. Either that or we got dark stars, and that's dark matter. That's what we keep on, the scientists keep on working on it. Basically, they could be, uh, small stars that are still hot and have radioactive energy but it's black and it's dark but basically theoretically those should be planets but did they have an uh, luminosity is the deal so you see f at least four dark stars or planets right there and then you also see uh, all the is light curvature and there's an object so basically this should be a dead star or a dying star and you just got it right in front of your eyeballs zoomed in on and you've seen how I zoomed in on it there's no artistry rendition here or nothing All right, I'll have to move around a little bit and then we get a little bit and I think this is probably well in this video this is as much as I'm gonna try to do and hopefully I can get the Nehemiah to disappear at least you know that we're at Nehemiah on a photo of Nehemiah. And the webcam does an awesome job, as you can see there. And then I should, if I hold still, I think that Nehemiah will go away. There we go, we got lucky. So basically that's as much as I'm going to try to do. Maybe I can try to get it up a little bit more. So there you go. A dying dead star in its moons or satellites that are around it, as you can see. Planets around a dead or dying star. And then star clusters out there, and then we'll zoom out. And this is between us and the sun. So you know that's not the sun. And let's go ahead and hurry up, and they'll zoom out. And I'll pop down and not leave the screen. And I'll zoom out here. This stuff's all out there. Just the atmosphere is really thin there at the South Pole because of the auroral. And we're getting to see this. And basically you can see... Uh, the light curving over that object that we just zoomed in on right there. So that stuff's all real and it's front, in front of the sun and then basically I'll backstep the video and there you go. So it's there and then you get the light curvature of the sun coming off this object and coming down. So all that stuff is there. The dying dead star. Now I'm backing up in time and you'll see this come up with the sun and there you see and that's why you end up getting this red and black I mean red and blue uh, 
and you'll just go back so you can see I can pretty much just getting this out right away so basically just more actual factual that all this is up there so it's fun to get in there and zoom in and look at this stuff we'll see what I got for time let me get this stop for a second well let's let's finish playing it that the video so basically that would be it there's the Sun coming up and you see all these signatures that come off of it that's in front of the Sun so it's actually there there is a dead dying star all I say is basically that physicist a long time ago he knew that we had three suns so basically the uh, Sun pretty much is a uh, Soho only looks at the core of the Sun the biggest one pretty much and it ends up getting some of the other ones caught in it sometimes basically this is the unraveling of that so you get to really see that uh, you see clouds off in the space. Now, I was going to back up enough to get the star that comes up. Uh, there we go. We got some... You're going to have to research and see what we've got here. Uh, it could be the uh, 3D of hologram effect of that uh, rotating dead dwarf hot star that's in front of the sun, but it's there. So now which way am I going? Okay, so now I think we're coming forward, and as you can see, it's teeming off the windows with them. And remember, they get light up there so you can see all this. 23, 24 hours of light up there. I think I'm going... No, I'm going backwards. Okay. So let's get our shadowy object. Again, it's basically not a radar dome up there because they don't have a... The radar dome that they have is right there. They do have a portable one that they try to take around with them because basically in front of the sun you get that object. Okay, so... And you can even zoom in on there's some illumination that's hitting there and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll step forward. And actually I'll just hit play. I think we're going to be going forward. Yeah, there we go. So there goes the movie. There goes the shadow of the object that is in front of these stars. So basically, I'm believing that they, we have three stars, and the one the star is dead, and this one here is dying too. And then the sun would be. And there you go. And that's in front of the sun. Okay, you get to see that star cluster and everything because we zoomed in on it. So. So I just position this, and you can play with these videos too, and basically I'll pump into this, which is basically a dying star. Now the hot side is the red side, and actually the hot side was probably the blue side, <coughs> and the red side is probably the cooler side of this dying star. And since we had, the, the physicist said we had three, and he's dead, he said that we had three suns, and he may have been wrong but it's in front of the sun and it gets hidden all the time as we zoom in here you place you will get what you can see here and it looks like there's a star there and a bunch of dying ones so we looks like we have basically factual possibly way more than one no matter what we have an asteroid belt between us and the sun constantly Constantly, at least it's been there in the last two years, two three years, because we've been seeing it in Nehemiah and who much longer they've been seeing it. This is what is actually there. So cooler, dead, black stars, and then we have we're dealing with light curvature here around, because this is right out of the camera. And as you can see, it's not the camera blacking out. All this stuff is actually there in front of the sun. And then so we get to be in a really tight shot. So there is an asteroid belt and stars between us and the sun and you can see it right there because this is directly in front of the sun pop back out Let's see if I can get and I'm just gonna basically we're just gonna back out here real fast and then we're right back at our deal so you can play with it along through the movie do it just like I do you need to get the software to be able to look at this and it's all real and it's all there we'll pop down on this so we've got an asteroid belt that's been in front of the sun for quite a while. Like I say, we've been watching this for over two years. So, and you've been seeing it. Everybody's been saying it, so it's the camera doing it. Now the camera doesn't do all this. And so we have a star cluster in front of the sun. Okay. And since uh, we have all this stuff out there, I basically to try to make another video today and try to uh, capture all this and get some more zoom in shots of it in different positions so it's always been there that's why your camera's 35mm is always caught not uh, 
it's actually caught those objects is it hasn't caught uh, lens flare. So 